a hunter stumbles upon a heart-stopping sight in the icy wilderness. A mama wolf, trapped and injured, fights for survival in the frozen lake. What happens next will leave you breathless and amazed. Jack slowly walked through the snowy forest, his breath producing little clouds in the cold air. The only audible sound was the crunch of snow under his boots. He had been following a deer for hours, hoping to get food for his family. As he walked near a small frozen lake, Jack noticed something strange. At first, he thought it was just a piece of ice, but as he got closer, his heart skipped a beat. There, stuck in the icy water, was a big wolf. Its fur was covered in ice, and its eyes were wide with fear. Jack's first thought was to be careful, because wolves are dangerous. But there was something about this wolf that made him stop and think. It wasn't just any wolf, it was a mama wolf, and she was going to have babies soon. The wolf's eyes looked right at Jack, and he saw something he didn't expect, a silent plea for help. The poor animal was trapped, its lower body frozen in the icy water, unable to move. Jack knew he had to make a big decision. He could leave and let nature take its course, or do something risky that went against everything he knew as a hunter. Taking a deep breath, Jack decided to help the mama wolf. He carefully put down his gun and slowly walked toward the trapped wolf. Cautiously, he tested each step on the ice, spreading his weight evenly to avoid cracking the fragile surface. His heart was pounding so hard he could hear it. He half expected the wolf to try and bite him at any moment, but the tired animal just lay there, watching him with scared eyes. As Jack approached the wolf, he lay down on his stomach and crawled forward. This way, his weight was spread out more evenly on the ice. When he was finally close enough, he could see the fear and exhaustion in the wolf's eyes, trying to calm her as he took out his hunting knife. Carefully, he started chipping away at the ice around her body. It was tough work, and his hands quickly went numb from the cold. But he didn't give up. He was determined to free the trapped wolf. As he worked, Jack talked softly to the wolf, trying to keep it calm. It's okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Just hang on a little longer. To his surprise, the wolf seemed to understand. She stayed still, only making little sad noises when it hurt too much. After what felt like forever, Jack finally got the wolf's back legs free from the ice. But they were not a trouble yet. The mama wolf was too weak to stand up on her own in the cold. Jack knew he had to act fast if he wanted to save her life. Jack took a deep breath, preparing himself for the challenge ahead. He carefully positioned himself, sliding one arm under the wolf's front legs and the other under her back legs. With a grunt of effort, he lifted her from the ice. The wolf was much heavier than he had expected because of her pregnant belly, and for a moment, Jack's knees buckled, almost causing them to fall back on the fragile ice. But Jack was determined. He adjusted his grip, found his balance, and began the difficult journey across the frozen lake. Each step was risky, the ice creaking ominously beneath their combined weight. The wolf remained remarkably still in his arms, as if she understood how dangerous their situation was. When they reached solid ground, he grabbed his gun, with his muscles screaming in pain. The deep snow made each step a struggle, and the wolf's icy fur pressed cold against his chest. Stay with me, girl, he panted. We're almost there. The walk back to his cabin seemed endless but the thought of the wolf's unborn pups gave him the strength to keep going. He talked to her constantly, his voice a lifeline for them both. Just a little farther, you're doing great. As they got close to the cabin, Jack's arms felt super heavy and his legs were shaking from being so tired. But seeing smoke coming from his chimney gave him new energy. With one last big effort, he pushed open the cabin door and stumbled inside. His wife Sarah let out a surprised yell when she saw what he was carrying. Jack, where did you get this? No time to explain, Jack gasped, gently putting the wolf down by the fireplace. We need to warm her up fast. For the next few hours, Jack and Sarah worked really hard to save the mama wolf's life. They rubbed her fur with warm towels, gave her small amounts of warm food, and kept the fire burning big and hot. Slowly but surely, the wolf started getting warmer, and she stopped shaking. As night came, the wolf finally opened her eyes. She looked around the cabin, scared but curious. Instead of trying to attack, she made a soft whining noise. This was a moment of trust that left Jack speechless. Over the next few days, the wolf got stronger. Jack and Sarah named her Luna, and to their surprise, she seemed happy to stay with them. They turned their storage shed into a cozy den for her, giving her a safe place to rest as her pregnancy went on. 
Weeks went by and Luna became part of their family. She would go with Jack on hunting trips, her sharp senses often helping him find animals he would have missed. Sarah grew to love the wolf too. But their peaceful life was about to face a big test. One stormy night, Luna started pacing and whining. Jack and Sarah realized with excitement and a bit of fear that she was about to have her babies. They had tried to prepare, but nothing could have prepared them for what was about to happen. As the storm raged outside, Luna's labor intensified. Jack and Sarah stayed by her side, offering comfort and support. The first three pups arrived without much trouble, tiny and mewling. But when Luna struggled to deliver the fourth pup, Jack noticed something was wrong. Sarah, the pup's not coming out right, Jack said, his voice tense. I think it's stuck. Sarah's face paled. What can we do? We're miles from the nearest vet. Jack took a deep breath. We'll have to help her ourselves. I've assisted with difficult calvings before. This can't be too different, right? As Luna whimpered in pain, Jack and Sarah sprang into action. Sarah held Luna steady, speaking soothingly to her, while Jack carefully felt around to assess the situation. The pup was indeed stuck, turned the wrong way in the birth canal. We need to turn it, Jack said, sweat beating on his forehead. Sarah, get me some of that cooking oil. We need to make this easier for Luna and the pup. Sarah rushed to grab the oil, her hand shaking. Hurry, Sarah urged. I don't think we have much time before she loses power. Jack nodded grimly. With oiled hands, he gently reached in to guide the pup. Luna growled in pain, but seemed to understand they were trying to help. Sarah continued to comfort her, wiping her brow and offering water. Minutes felt like hours as Jack worked to reposition the pup. Just as he thought he'd succeeded, the flashlight they were using went off, plunging them into darkness. Sarah fumbled in the dark to get another flashlight. As she shone the beam on Luna, they saw the pup starting to emerge. That's it, girl, Jack encouraged. You're doing great, just a little more. With one final push from Luna and gentle guidance from Jack, the fourth pup finally arrived. But their relief was short-lived as they realized the tiny wolf wasn't breathing. No, 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 Sarah muttered, grabbing a clean towel. She gently rubbed the pup, trying to stimulate its breathing while Jack cleared its airways. For a heart-stopping moment, nothing happened. Then, miraculously, the pup gave a weak cough and started to cry. You did it, Jack exclaimed, his voice thick with emotion. He and Sarah shared a look of pure relief and joy. But the night wasn't over yet, though. Luna still had one more pup to deliver. But after the ordeal with the fourth pup, the fifth arrived quickly and without complication. By morning, five tiny wolf pups were cuddled against their mom, their eyes still closed tight. Jack and Sarah were exhausted but delighted. They had not only saved Luna, but had now helped bring a whole new family of wolves into the world, facing challenges they never expected. As the weeks went by, the pups grew bigger and more playful. Jack and Sarah knew they couldn't keep them forever. They were wild animals after all. But for now, they enjoyed watching the little wolf family grow and get stronger. Word spread through the nearby town about Jack's unusual rescue. Some people said he did a good thing, while others said that he shouldn't have messed with nature. But Jack didn't listen to them. He knew in his heart that he had done the right thing. One autumn morning, Jack woke up to find Luna standing at the forest's edge, her pups gathered around her. She looked back at the cabin, her eyes meeting Jack's. At that moment, he understood. It was time for them to go back to the wild. With a heavy heart but feeling proud, Jack watched as Luna led her pups into the forest. She stopped one last time, letting out a long, sad howl. It was her way of saying goodbye. As the wolves disappeared into the wilderness, Jack felt really sad and like he had done something amazing. He had taken a chance, gone against what he knew as a hunter, and in doing so, had saved not just one life, but six. From that day on, Jack's way of hunting changed. He started to work to protect animals instead of hunting them. And on quiet nights when the moon was full, he would sometimes hear a familiar howl in the distance, a reminder of the special bond between a hunter and the wolf he saved. Jack's experience with Luna sparked a new passion in him. He began to study wolves and other wild animals, learning about their habits and the challenges they faced in the changing world. He started to share his knowledge with others, giving talks at local schools and community centers about the importance of preserving wildlife. Inspired by her husband's newfound passion, Sarah began reaching out to local wildlife rescues and rehabilitation centers. 
She volunteered her time whenever possible, learning basic animal care techniques that she could apply to injured wildlife they might encounter near the cabin. Together, Jack and Sarah transformed their property into a small sanctuary, creating a safe place for local animals needing temporary care or protection. Their work didn't go unnoticed. A wildlife conservation group heard about what they were doing and offered to help them set up a proper wildlife rehabilitation center. With the group's support, Jack and Sarah were able to build a facility with proper enclosures and medical equipment to better care for the animals they rescued. As years passed, their rehabilitation center grew into a respected wildlife education center, teaching generations about the importance of coexistence with nature. So, what do you think? Would you have done the same if you found an injured wolf trapped in ice? Have you ever had an unexpected encounter with a wild animal that changed how you see the world? Share your thoughts in the comments below.